<sighs> the Majesty. <sighs> I know you are in deep pain, but this is beyond mere mortal pain. <sighs> Be a man. Be the king, the lion that we have always known you to be. <sighs> Goodbye, our queen. <sighs> Your Majesty, if money could buy life, our queen will not be lying in this casket like this. Your Majesty, you did everything humanly possible to make sure our queen lived. But fate has its own plans. Take heart, my king, my queen. Fare thee well and have a glorious journey. The flame of love which you have lit in this kingdom shall never be extinguished. Fare thee well, my noble queen. Fare thee well. Death. Death is that ill wind that blows no one any good. It knows no one. Its victim can be either young or old. The bitter truth about this life is that death is that sour soup all of us must taste one day. Grieve no more, my king, for she has gone to that great beyond of no return. <sighs> Farewell, my queen. Farewell. Your Majesty. A man does not die at this part where he lost his precious gift. I beg of you, your majesty, do not bring calamity upon yourself and the entire people of our kingdom. Push all this behind you for your head. Courageously move on. Be strong by the king the white lion that we have ever been. <sighs> Rest in peace, our beautiful queen. Till we meet to part no more. Majesty, I was very shocked when I heard that the Queen is passed. I never knew she was sick. Five years she battled cancer. For five years I put my life on hold, fighting to save her life. I did everything that I could. To keep the queen alive, I took her to the best hospitals in the world. I gave her the best medical care. That evil 
Ionis was determined to take her away from us. Pity. You must have spent a hell of the money. Our money was not my concern at the time. I, I just wanted to save her life. I was willing to spend to the last die on right. me, but um, fate, fate. My condolences, Your Majesty. Take her. I strongly believe that the gods uh, have risen for allowing what happens to happen. So they say. <laughs> uh, so I have been told. But you see, I'm still seated here, waiting for answers. I need to know why an ugly fate like that would befall a good man like me. Well, um, you know, it's part of the mysteries that is beyond human imagination. I want you to understand that uh, life at some point throws things that are bigger than us and we're expected to endure and overcome them all. Well, truth is if the cosmic powers beyond us will sometimes do a proper evaluation of our strengths. I guess that um, they would know what exactly to throw at us for some time. Really, I can't do it. Well, things I, like this are hard to take. I understand. Understand how you feel, Your Majesty. But you need to pull yourself together and move on. Of course, you, you don't need to cling in the past. I know it's not an easy role. But it must allow the past to go so the future can set in. But can we truly have a future without the past? Another mystery. You will agree with me. <laughs> well, um, Your Majesty. Miriam. Oh, um, Your Majesty, I, I must be on my way. Your By all means. I appreciate it. <laughs> Greetings, Your Majesty. Greetings. Son, is that? Come huh? on, Obi. I'm only trying to show concern. Why are you looking this dirty? It's none of your business, Stella. None of your business. You're always aggressive towards me. Why? The, the, the question here should be, why poking your nose into what doesn't concern you? Eh? Why won't you just mind your business? Come on, that is exactly what I am doing. You are my business. Hence the reason I decided to stop the moment I saw you. Come on, I... I I don't like the way you're looking. What is the problem? Speak to me. You know, it, it baffles me why a beautiful girl like you, the only daughter of Chief Akadiyako, should be discussing yourself the way you do. That's an insult, but I wouldn't want to take it that way. I take it as you any way you want to see, but do not allow me to face the anger of what those military people did to me to you. Huh? What? What military men? What did you do to them that they treated you this way? Come on, Ubi, speak to me. Just say something. I'm I never sure. you that. Come on, stop. Tell me what they did to you. I don't like this. I will take it up and make sure they do not go unpunished. I promise. Look, I, I am not here to exchange words with you. Eh? But if you want to know, go to that military base at Ukwadi Junction. That is where they took my keke to. Tell them or beg them or do whatever I want to do. Let them release my keke to you. 
Simple. Okay, okay, fine. Agreed. I will do that. At least tell me what you did. I deserve to know. Those little people, they caught me because... What did I do? I just splashed little water. Not plenty, oh! You splashed little water? Little water on the military okay. men. They caught me and commanded me to be rolling on the water. Just little water that I splashed on them. And they seized my keke. So, go there, tell them or beg them, do whatever you want to do. And get my keke for me. But you okay. do not do that intentionally, right? How can I? I didn't do it intentionally now. It was okay. a mistake. Oh, yeah, sorry, sorry. It's okay. I will go there. The military base at Ukwaji, right? I promise I'll come back with your keke, okay? Um, are you feeling any pain? Like. It's dealing, don't, don't stop asking those, that kind of question. Am I your baby? I'm a ah. Okay, I'll bring your keke for you. Um, You said Ukwaji, right? Okay. Thank you. Love you. Mwah. I hope you know that Life without love is like creating a human being without a heart. How do you expect that human to function? Likewise, a fish cannot survive without water. My king, life without you has been meaningless. The last five years has been tough. The ill health of your late wife, you understand? Waking up every morning and having thoughts of you in another man's arm is one of the toughest battles that I have had to fight. For the last five years, I have engaged in a very fierce, emotional fight. I have lived missing you. But also fighting learn how to live without you. You don't think you should continue fighting? Who knows? You might come out victorious. I hope you know that what happened the first time was a big mistake. But allowing what happened the first time repeat itself again okay? foolishness. I wish I never made a decision I made in the past. What are you talking about? Some things are better left unsaid. Tell me. But I tell you this, my king. My life has been meaningless without you. I will see you in court. Okay, hold on. I will see you in court. Mm. Mm.
everywhere. Everywhere is burning me. Oh. Hi. Sorry, sorry, ah. sorry, ah. sorry. Yeah. Ah, easy, easy. Sorry, sorry. Ah. Ah. sorry. It's painful. It's sorry. painful. Ah. Hi. 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 These people are so wicked. Very wicked. Why? Hey. Mm. Oh, oh, it's painful. I, I, I take it easy now. It's painful now. It's painful. Take it easy. Oh, I, I, oh, I, I. Now take it easy now. I want to run mad again. And if I take it easy. Sorry. I I My vein. My vein. I I I I Sorry. Take it easy. I I didn't see this come, you know. Honey, I did not do this intentionally. Heaven knows I didn't do it intentionally. I didn't do it intentionally. I need attention, I need attention, I Hey, hey. Honey, it was a mistake. I was rushing to pick a sick customer of mine to the hospital. And I mistakenly, mistakenly splashed water on them. And that was it. That was all. These army people brought me out of my keke and panabited me. Hi! And in that could be fitting can I copa no they dealt with me. I begged them all help. I I I pleaded with them. I I I I begged them. Pleaded with them, I begged them. But they didn't listen to me. They were just beating me like tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow is not exist again. The worst in the whole situation, the system my get. Okay? Hmm. It was tell how it was tell that I used her father's influence to retrieve my keke from them. If not, get if a mark I call over. What will I tell the owner of the keke? Huh? The man that gave it to me for her purchase. How would I tell him? Hi. Hi, honey. Honey? Uh, honey? Ah. Uh, Hi. Honey, I'm talking to you. Well, your mind is not here. What were you thinking? No. I'm not, I'm not thinking of anything. Is anything the matter? If you're not thinking of anything, what was the last thing I said? Um. It is written in the holy book by Chukwu Kikabiyama, God the Creator, that he took a bone off the ribs of every man I made for each of them a very beautiful bride. One that they can call their soulmate. God the master planner. Chukuo kikabia manjie go. 
the one that heareth all and seeth all, the one that perfects all in his time. He makes no mistake. Miriam, Omale Changwa, Oke Boye Bom. From the day I set my eyes on you, I knew that you are the one that you quoke Kabiama has made for me. You are the one made from the bone of my ribs to give me joy to make me complete as my soulmate my soul tie but then I lost you I lost you out of my love for humanity, out of the benevolence of my heart, but life, life has brought you my way again, Miriam. And so, on a day like this, I ask myself: Will a great king like me? Be so foolish to let go of the one that Chukwu Kikabiyama has sent to him to make him complete. Uchenaya is quite long. Uh, we have not seen. Uh, well, what do I offer you? Uh, Oh, no, I'm not here, and I'm not in the mood for anything. I am here for a very serious business. Actually, I don't need anyone to tell me that, because the unhappiness is reflecting on your face all over you. Now tell me, what is the problem? I want to believe that my late sister, the former queen of this great kingdom, whom you people buried a few days ago, did not die a natural death. Uh, uh, did I hear you correctly? You heard me well. Uh, and what are you insinuating? Someone very close to her took her life for a reason best known to him. Uh, uh, how come? How did you come about all this things you are saying? Oh no, my sister appeared to me twice, telling me that she's not happy with the king. Oh, no. I don't need anybody to tell me that the king, your king, killed my sister with that deadly sickness. Uchenaya, we are all aware that your sister, the late queen, died of cancer. How come you accuse an innocent king? I am not. Hey, hold on. How come you accuse an innocent king of killing his own beloved wife? Oh no, I'm not accusing an innocent king of killing his own wife. Your king killed my sister. That is the reason she is not happy with him. Tell your king to confess. For I will play a music. He will never be able to dance to its tune. This is not a threat. I mean every bit of what I've just said here. You and you're walking out on me. What has come over you? Eh? You've been having so strong lately. Mary, what is the problem? I just said I am going to see my parents. My stepmother 
is not feeling too good. I want to go and see her and know how she's doing. Is that a problem? And I can go with you and see them. We're talking about my mother-in-law here. Obina, what is wrong with you? Did, did you hear me mention that my mother is at the point of death? Did you hear me say that? So please, allow me to go see her while you go to work. And I can still go to work after seeing her. Can't I? Obina, the fact that we do not have children does not mean you don't have responsibilities. Listen to me. I am tired of this lifestyle. You see this? I am tired. You brought me all the way from the city back to the village. Are you expecting to be okay with it? Please, Obina. I am tired. I am tired. Go and hustle like other men and leave me alone. Stop following me like fly. Ah? Uh -huh. What are you talking about? What I am talking about is for you to go out there and hustle like other men. Stop following me like fly. Ogene. Ogene. Mary. Please, Mary. Don't, don't marry me, please. Mary. Everywhere I'm going, you want to go with me. Miriamma! Life with him over the years has been terrible. Really? Yes. Getting married to him is one big mistake I will never forgive myself for making. You know, this is the second time you're saying this. And each time, you say this with so much pain and bitterness. What really happened? I'd like to know. I wish I never met him my entire life. But you once loved him with all your heart. Yes, I thought I did. I later realized I did what I did out of sympathy and some stupid loyalty. My king, please. Can we just stop talking about this? I came here to see you so I can make you happy. Are you serious? Yes, I am serious. <laughs> you know, coming around you makes me happy. And at the same time, fulfilled. Just like having you around gives me joy. The kind of joy that I have not experienced in five years. Mm. That sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy to hear that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, can I go ahead and dish the food? By all means, baby. You can. But you see, I want you to know that your presence here is like food to my soul. Just gives me the strength to come. <laughs> It's okay, come on, baby. It's, it's fine. No! It took me time to make this specially for you. I know, baby. I know the work you put in it. It's okay. I mean, you know, you'll always make me something else. I just got one of the maidens to, to clean it up, okay? Um, it's okay. Sweetheart, okay, okay, okay. You know what? You're here. How about you make me something while you're here? You just go to the kitchen and make me something. I could join you in the kitchen. Yes. <laughs> uh, you will join me in the kitchen? Oh, yes. We'll just make something really nice together. Are you joking? I'm serious. This sounds strange. But that would be nice. Yeah, it will be fun. <laughs> Let's try it. Wait, 
Mama, you mean you're not sick? That you're very strong? What type of stupid question is that? Are you praying for me to fall sick? I may God forbid I made that kind of prayer for you, Mama. It's not possible now. But your question is very suspicious. Ah, uh, it's because my wife told me that she's coming to see her stepmother. I mean, my mother-in-law, whom she said I was sick. You're not serious. My daughter cannot say such lies. She cannot tell such lies. But Papa, she did. I even offered to come with her, but she refused. She asked me to go to work and she wants to come all alone. I said, okay. So how did you end up here if what you, what you just said is true? Uh, Mama, my keke had issue. So I took it to the mechanic. And while I was there, I thought it wise to come here with this item, that is to come and see my, 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 my mother-in-law that is sick. <laughs> all right. If it is true that she says such thing to you, now where could she be? Because we have not seen her since today. Or have you? Nebe, I have not seen her. Exactly. Where, where could she be? Stella, what is it? Why are you stalking me, Stella? Why? Can you calm down? I just want us to have a talk. Talk about what exactly? About us. Stella, there is no us and there will never be any us. There was, there is, and there will forever be us going forward. So I would really appreciate it if you stop avoiding me because I am your shadow. Be a shadow of your miserable self, Stella. There is no doubt that I love you a lot, a whole lot, but I wouldn't have you insult me as well. Stella, if insulting you will make you stop following me, honestly, I will go on and on and on and keep insulting you. Stella, it is over between us. Leave me alone. You know, I've actually dated the higher mighty in the society. No one, not even a single of them dumped me. And that will not start from you, because I do the dumping. So I would really advise you to do my bidding, else you will bear the consequences. Are you threatening me or what? Stella, have you forgotten so soon? Our past, how miserable our past was. I can never, ever go into a relationship with you. Never. You are only allowed to be with one woman, and that woman is me. Don't want to take your call. The caller is not someone that is important to me. My king, please. I don't want us to talk about anything that will spoil this beautiful moment that we share. I just wanted, I mean, it could be. Can you please just stop? Stop, please. Stop it. to say it for you to understand that I do not want to talk about him. Don't you want my happiness? All I have ever wanted is your happiness. I showed you 
happiness the first time I saw you. And I have prayed for Chukuki Kabiyama to give me another chance to prove to you how happy I can make you. I have gotten another chance. And trust me, I am not going to lose you to anyone. Why do you say things you cannot do? What are you talking about? Action they say speaks louder than words. Put your words into action. And save me from the mystery that I'm facing in his hands. That is if you truly care about me. Of course I care about you. I care a lot about you. And I'm never going to let anyone take it from me. Woman, listen to me. If you know where you kept my daughter, go there and bring her out. Otherwise, I will do something both of us will regret. What kind of stupid accusation is that? Good. So I have become stupid. Listen to me. I am not accusing you. Rather, I'm stating the obvious. There's no way you will tell me that you don't know where Mary went. For crying out loud, both of you are very close. And I'm sure that she tells you what she does. So tell her to go back to her husband's house so the young man can have some peace of mind. Oh no. Oh no. Biko. You don't know that. Hold your mouth. Oh. Biko, I'm begging you. How dare you accuse me of, of, of such? How hmm. Is she no longer the child after her own father's heart? Biko, don't put this rubbish on my head. Woman. Go and look for her. Just pray that nothing happens to my daughter. Otherwise, otherwise, I will teach you a lesson you will not forget in a hurry. There is no lesson to teach me. Talk more of the one I will not forget in a hurry. Nothing. Let me tell you, if you continue to accuse me this way, I will tell the entire kingdom that you know your daughter's whereabouts. Nga gwafa, ka do for your daughter. Je kora page bi de sari abiko. I have told you what I have in mind. It seems to me you are taking my chivalrousness for granted. Ngwa kai shiva bazie no. Okwa chivalrous, no problem. Let's chivalrous it. Eh? Ah, udo ibo. Eh, biko 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 allow me some peace. How dare you lie to me that your mother is sick? Why your mother is not sick? I didn't even go to your parents' house. And what right do you have to ask me such a question? Huh? How dare you talk to me in such manner and tone? Huh? And who are you to tell me how to talk to you? Who? Now listen, listen and listen real good. It's obvious you're not coming from your parents' house. So tell me, where are you coming from? Mr. Ma, please. I beg you in the name of God, allow me to go inside and rest. Do not spoil my day for me. I'm begging you, please. Let it not be what I'm thinking. Let it not be that you went to a man's house. And if I went to a man's house, what will you do? It better not be that. Okay, fine. I went to a man's house. Do your worst. Do that thing you think you can do. Do it. Haven't I told you that I'm tired of this bondage you call marriage? Haven't I told you? I am tired! How do I have to sing it all the time? What is wrong with you? What has come over you? Why are you misbehaving? What is it? Look! Who sowed this seed of discord in your heart? Who? And don't forget that this marriage before better for us. I am tired of this marriage. Oh, for the Mulanya, why? I married you out of sympathy. Marriage is for better, for worse. If I go, there is no going back. Mary,
Stella, what is the meaning of this? How many times have I warned you to stay away from me? How many times? Could that be the reason you did this to me? And that we wouldn't do something worse than you experienced if you do not leave this place. Stella, come on, this is not fair. Why would you do that? Grace, please, don't allow me vent out my anger on you. Oh, yeah? You know what? Get it ready to pour more drinks on me. Because you are going to see more of me these days. Yes! Don't you dare, Johnson. Don't even dare me. Because I will give you the shock of your life. I am warning you not to. Johnson, I'm, I'm very, very sorry, okay? Please forgive her, okay? I'm very, very sorry. I'm so sorry. It's okay. I've already forgiven her. Stella, you did this to me? No problem. Thank you for this. But I will, I will, I will never give up. Johnson, I'm so sorry, okay? I'm very, very sorry. Oh. Baby, you shouldn't have done that. Please, Grace, you can as well leave. Oh, really? I should go? I said leave if you want to. What's wrong, what's wrong with you? Greetings to you, King of Oboduku Kingdom. Ah. My love. Uh, since when did you begin to greet me in that manner? I hope all is well. I ask because you don't look happy to me. What is it? Sit down, sit and talk to me, for I am confident that I can provide the solution to whatever troubles you have. Sit. Why did you do it? Why did you do what you did to my sister? What are you talking about? Oh, don't pretend. Don't pretend as if you don't know what I'm talking about. Why did you have to treat my sister that way? Uchenna. Do you realize that you're in my presence? Uchenaya, it is very important for you to know that as a man, it is expedient that you know your class and your level, wherever you find yourself. Now, the fact that life has brought us together and made me your in-law does not give you the rights to raise your voice at me and speak to me in that tone. As you are here, you are going to watch your words and you are going to watch your tone. What will you do? Now tell me, what will you do to me? Kill me the way you killed my sister? Huh? What? What did you say? My sister loved you with all her heart. My family accepted you and showered you with love. But what did you do? You turn around like the nice leg that you are and beat her with your dangerous venom. Let me tell you. Everything everyone does in this earth has a reward. And your own reward will be served to you just the way you did to my sister here on earth. Enough! Which enough? Watch your mouth. You stand there and accuse me of killing my own wife. Uchenna, close your mouth. Close your mouth. Shut it before the gods of this land strike you dead. Oh, the gods! I refuse, my king. I refuse. The gods can only listen when the innocent calls on them. Not when a man whose hands are dripping with the blood of the innocent is calling on them just to cover up for his sins. Confess. Confess. Else I will make you pay for what you did to my late sister. Do not say I didn't warn you. Don't say I did not warn you. Excuse me. <laughs> Thank you. 
Stella, you really went too far. You shouldn't have poured drink on him. I mean, he's uncalled for. Was that the reason you did what you did? <sighs> Let's call it speed is speed. Not a working implement. What you did was wrong. You're beginning to sound like my father and I don't like it. <laughs> you know what? You hate hearing the truth. And that is why I'm your friend. I'll keep on telling you until it gets to your ear. Grace, mm -hmm. what truth are you talking about? That you overreacted. What you did is wrong. I did nothing wrong. I have told that man countless times that I do not want to set my eyes on him ever again. Oh yeah? Come to think of it, don't I have the right to quit a relationship I am not comfortable in? <laughs> don't I? I never said you don't have the right. So what are you talking about? I am saying that you should stop this your behavior. It's not good. Come to think of it. Johnson loves and still wants to back. But I have told that man a lot of times that I do not want him. <laughs> I've made it clear to him that I don't want to have anything to do with him. How else do I explain it to him? Grace, that man almost destroyed my life. He's the reason I broke up with Obi. I don't understand. I mean, what are you saying? Johnson is a beast. If I tell you what he has done to me, you would never ever want him an inch close to me for any reason. So when advising me, also try to understand me. Obi, do you mean my daughter told you that she's no longer interested in the marriage? Yes, Papa, she, she said so. As a matter of fact, this is not the first time she says something like this. <laughs> this is very strange. Honestly, I find it difficult to believe that my own daughter will open her mouth her vocal cavity to say such a thing to you. Baba, it's very strange to me as well. Baba, I love her so much. I love her so much. I do not want to lose her. She's all I have in this world. Uh, now, uh, uh, tell me, did you, did you, because uh, what, 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 I'm, what I'm envisaging is a kind of teeth. That slight quarrel between lovers. Did you do anything wrong to her? Papa, I didn't do anything wrong to her. At least, to the best of my knowledge, no. I, I, I didn't. Obi, don't ask me parrot fashion. This question demands introspection. That's self-examination. Tell me the truth. I will handle the rest. Did you do anything bad to her? Papa, I, I didn't. If I did something wrong to her, I won't be here asking you, or rather, I won't be here reporting to you. I didn't. Very strange. Quite strange. It means something must be wrong somewhere. But, but, but we can't place our finger on it for now. You know. Something is wrong somewhere. That is why I am here, to help me find out. Something, something is wrong somewhere. And that is why I am here, so you can help me find out. Are you driving like somebody who is being chased by death? Ichi, I am the death that is chasing after a person. And I'm going to kill who is involved if he doesn't take his time. What are you talking about? 
I was actually coming to your house before I met you here. What's your problem? The death of my sister is not ordinary. And I am so much concerned about it. Which I tell you, I'm so certain that the king has a hand in it. Are you saying that the king is responsible for the death of his late wife, your sister? Do you know the gravity of what you've just said? I've already told her no. And I'm just coming back from the palace. The royal cabinet members should advise him to confess to his atrocities. Else, I will make him pay with everything he has, including his life. A word they said is enough for the wise. Your Majesty, I find it difficult to believe that Uchenna has the gods to walk into this palace and talk to you the way you said he did. I, I, who is he? You would, have, you would have ordered your guards to deal with him mercilessly. But oh, no. Wisdom. There is a reason the lion retreats at the sudden sight of human beings. Wisdom. Mm. Wisdom. I agreed, agreed, Your Majesty. But even at that, he did not just insult you. He insulted the throne of Fubuduku Kingdom. He insulted the, the entire people of Fubuduku Kingdom. Well, oh no, I invited you here to have this talk with you because uh, it is said that when one person sees a tiny snake, it could be mistaken to be a very big python. That is true. You see, this same Uchenna came to me with that same useless discussion. I dismissed him. I never knew he would still continue to the extent of coming to you with that same useless topic. Uche Naya came to you to tell you that me, he came, killed my wife. Of course, but he might go now, but I'm going to die and I'm jealous. No, you see, I, I dismissed him because I never took him serious. I know him. He he acts. Under the influence of hard drugs. Oh no, why it, it, did you not come to me with this matter? Why did you not tell me about it? Like I said, he, he, he is under the influence of an alcohol. He takes something that disturbs his health. And of course, he is not a serious person. I know him for that. So I did not take him serious, and besides, I know you will not do that. You did not kill your wife. Oh no, it is part of your responsibility to ensure that matters like this are not swept under the carpet. Topics like this can be damaging to the reputation of your king. You should know better. Mm. You, you are very correct, Your Majesty. As it is, um, what, what do you think we are going to do? Give me time to think. It's okay, Your Majesty. Uchenawa. So we'll see if we have your thought. Adugo. Meaning your daughter wants to divorce her husband. What? Where did you get such information from? Anyway, her husband was here early in the day. He told me that um, many threatened to divorce him. This is serious, so. I mean, what could make him marry threaten to divorce her husband? The man she chose 
over every other person. You see, if I knew, I wouldn't have been having this conversation with you now. Now tell me, Adugo, what is going on between me and her husband that warrants divorce? Tell me. <laughs> hey, Okunoka. Okunoka, oh no, you have come again. Ibiakwa. What type of question is that? A am I living with both of them in the, in the same house? Miri does not hide anything from you as her stepmother. And I am sure there is something which you know that I don't know. Something I know that you don't know is what does not exist. And I know, let me tell you, the earlier you put a call across to her to come and explain things to us, the better for you. As for that marriage, I don't care whether it is dissolved or not. I don't care. I don't even like that young man in the first place. Tell me, what exactly did that young man do to you that made you hurt him with acrimony? That question is not necessary. Come to think of it, like you told me, we are you not the one that asked them to get married to each other? All right, Figuam. It is good that you pray for them not to separate. And I know, but let me ask you. The poor status of that young man, is it not enough reason for Mary to divorce him? You see, you are not coming out of your shells. You are showing you are true color. Characters like you are the type we call in Latin anguish in harbor. That's green snake in a green grass. That's green snake under green grass. How can a woman who rejected the richest man in this kingdom just to be married to me suddenly change and become something else? What is going on? What did you say to my father that made him call me on the phone? And what did he say to you? That you visited him today and he wants to see me. Why? Then go and see him and find out why he summoned you. <sighs> Just pray it has nothing to do with the both of us. Because if it does, trust me, I swear to God, I will tell them everything that I'm passing through in this marriage. I would... I would... Hey! Just remember you took an oath of secrecy never to tell anyone what happens in this marriage. Just remember. It shows on them. Oh no. Tell me, how much did that boy called Uche Naya pay to you for you to do what you are doing? No, just tell me. Oh no. I take exception at that question. Nobody paid me anything, but the truth has to be told, no matter how bitter it sounds. Which truth are you talking about? Which truth is Zondo? That the king, the white lion, killed his own wife? No, hold on. Of what benefit will it be to him? Oh no, that question is supposed to have gone to the king and not me. Oh no, why are you taking this matter personal? I am taking this matter personal because I know the king too well. I know the white lion. I know the supreme ruler of this kingdom. I know him. He cannot do such that you people accuse him of. It's not possible. So you mean that that young man just cooked up that story? No. Tell us, why will he do that? We are all aware that the king had no form of any enmity with his in-laws. This is the reason I'm interested in this matter. And I must get to the root of this matter. I can perceive clearly 
the case of conspiracy here. Yes. Even if you have decided to conspire against the king once more. Oh no, what do you mean by that? It is obvious you people hate the king. You hate the white lion. And that is why you want him out of the throne by all means. Hmm. So you can install any other person of your choice who will come in and embezzle the fund of the community. So that any money that comes into the coffers of the community will not be accounted for. That is the kind of person you people want. Oh no, please. Please and please, don't change the topic on ground. Let the king the face the consequence of his evil act. What evil act are you talking what about? Evil what, what evil what act? What evil act? Why do you hate the king so much? And that you can go to king. any extent. This is no matter of hatred. Simply, the king killed his wife. It is obvious. Who showed you? you know? Who showed you? Who told you that? Did your caca lower your voice? Do you have any evidence? Who told you that? Did your caca lower your voice? Even if you don't like it, you are in the house of Ono. Respect the man you are in the house. Caca. Oh, oh, caca, I wouldn't blame you. You don't know you are left and you are right. Oh, caca, I wouldn't blame you. Because when you go about carrying glasses and bottles of water upon your face, that that does not allow you to see well. <laughs> Land cruiser. I said, if I can't call some man, they don't even they like to come down again. Huh? Tell me, enjoy your walk. Ah, Oga. I will never reach that. Don't they too enjoy your again? Oga, say stop. Now you demand. Stop us. Ah, I don't like. I say stop us here. Ah, Oga. This story they paralyze this. Juliana, you are dead. Don't torment me. I have nothing in common with you, Juliana. Why are you here? I am not dead. I live for as long as you live. Come. Come to me. Come to Mama. Come to me, my love. I have nothing in common with you, Juliana. What do you want from me? What do you want from me? What, have, what have I done to you? Huh? Why? Why did you do what you did? What did I do? Who is it? It's the royal guard, Your Majesty. What do you want? The visitor is here to see you. Tell them I'll join them. As it is, Your Majesty.
I am very convinced, deep down in my heart, that the king killed his late wife. And the question remains, why? <coughs> you disappoint me sometimes, Ichi Ozondo. How can you be asking such questions? Is the source of his word not suspicious to you? Okay, just be truthful to yourself, Ichi Ozondo. Don't you think he soiled his hands to make money? Say the truth. His source of wealth, you say? Yes. That's <laughs> what I said. Hey, are you not an Ichie in this our great kingdom? I am. To know that our king inherited his wealth from the late father. Huh? Let us stop bothering ourselves with his source of wealth and concentrate on the fact that people are accusing him of killing his late wife. Nobody is accusing him. He no. did it. Nobody is accusing it. him. He did it. And he must not be allowed to get away with this this time around. At all. He has hey. to be kicked out of the throne. And the earlier we swing into action, the better. We must make him leave that throne. Is it what you say? Yes, that's what I said. <laughs> hey. My king, what's going on? You haven't said anything for some time now. Why are you not talking to me? Fine. I get it. You don't want to see me in this palace again. I am becoming a pest, right? That is not true. Then what is the problem? I have come here so I can have peace and happiness. But I guess what I want is not what you want. I will just... You'll what? I'll just walk out of this place and you'll never see me again. And why would you do that? Because it's obvious you don't want me in your life. You've been deceiving me all along. May the gods of our land strike me dead. If I ever lied to you about how I feel about you. I love you. But I want you to believe me. What shall it profit me to deceive a very beautiful soul like you? Then prove it to me. Prove to me that you feel something strong for me rather than using mere words to deceive me. You know, Chukwo Kikabiyama brought you my way in the past and I lost you out of sentiments and stupidity maybe but now life has given you and I another chance to be together and as our hearts beat as one I assure you that I am willing to give up anything just to be with you for the rest of my life. I'll never deceive you. No matter what the circumstances are. My feelings for you are not vague. My feelings for you are true.
Mary. 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 Where did she go now? Huh? I can't remember sending her on any errand. Neither did she tell me that she was. She was going out. Huh? Mary. 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 What do I tell him now? What? I'm finished. I, I, he, he, hello, sir. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, sir. Some, something happened. I'm finished. Hey. Where do I go from here? Who do I run to? How, How do I escape? Hey! 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 Mimi, what's the problem between you and your husband? I don't understand, Papa. Did my husband tell you people that we're having any problem? Then are you trying to answer my question with another question? Has he come to that? Mm. Answer your father's question. Fine. We are not having any problem. Then why did your husband tell us that you want to divorce him? Papa, you mean my husband said that to you? There you go again. Question for question. Can you stop this, your attitude of answering a question with a question? I don't like it. Answer him straight. My daughter, I am your father. Tell me what the problem is all about so we can find a lasting solution for it. Why did you tell your husband that you want a divorce? Papa, I... I really want us to take this oath. I really do not know why you want me to go to the shrine to swear that I will not tell anyone what's going on in our marriage when we get married. Obimi, is there something you're not telling me? Something like what? I really don't know. I just feel like what you're asking me to do is not right. My love, I understand how you feel. But the truth is, I don't want any third party in our marriage. Most failed marriages today are as a result of friends and family intuition. I want us to resolve whatever problem we might have when we finally get married. Are you sure about this? Have I ever lied to you? But I thought you were a Christian.
I swear before this great shrine today that anything that happens in our marriage you remain with me. I will not bring in any third party into our marriage. If I should do it, may I die. I swear before this great shrine today that I will not tell anyone anything that happens in our marriage and I will not bring in any third party. If I go against this oath, may I die. Hold it together. <laughs> it is done, and so shall it be forever. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, hey, oh yeah, oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, hey, oh yeah, oh, iwo, 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 oh cho, 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 iwo, iwo, iwo. Hmm. Ovrule, o kangwa, ovrule, ovrule, o kangwa, ovrule, ovrule, o kangwa, ovrule, ovrule, o kangwa, ovrule, hile, ovrule, ovrule, o kangwa, ovrule. Ovrulei ya kankwa o Mary Are you all right? My daughter What is the matter with you? Oh, Guinea I'm fine. There's nothing wrong with me. I can't take that from you. Something is definitely and seriously wrong somewhere. A while ago, you were trying to voice out something, but all of a sudden, you went mute for some time. Why that hesitation, my daughter? Papa, I said there's nothing wrong with me. Everything is fine. And for the record, I said that to my husband just to test his love for me. I just wanted to know if he still loves me as before. Are you sure? Yes, Papa. Are you sure? Yes, and they were sure. Yes. Because I don't even want you to continue with him in that marriage. Can't you see that he's not taking care of you? You're not looking good at all. Eh? And of woman, don't sow any seed of discord in her head. Eh? Uh, it's all right, my daughter. Eh? Everything will be fine very soon. Okay? Don't listen to any type of Hogwash. Any type of rubbish that your mother is trying to say now. <laughs> I still can't believe what my eyes saw today. Stella, if anyone had told me that a man will treat you the way that young man did today, and you just swallow it like that, even if he's a prophet, I will not believe that. Obi is not just any man. Okay. Obi is very special to me. And I would do anything to have him back. <sighs> my friend. Forget about that church rat. And move on with Johnson. That will be over my dead body. That I go back to Johnson. Come on. I love Obi. <sighs> and... I'm not going to let him go just like that. I will fight till the end. But he's married to Oda. He's married. Obi is not happy in that marriage. I'm not told you that. I know. I know it. It's written all over him. I can categorically tell you that Obi is not happy in that marriage. Grace, Obi needs me. Yet, it treats you the way it does. My 
friend is really going crazy. Are you sure? But you really have to think. What kind of a man are you? You made me go to the native doctor's place for the very first time in my life to swear an oath of secrecy. Yet you have refused to keep to that part of the oath. What is wrong with you? Huh? Why are you staring at me like that? What has come over you? Why did you go to tell my parents that I want to divorce you? Why? Why did you do that? Elobi? What is wrong with you? Wait, though. Obi, is there something you're not telling me? I lost my keke earlier today. I lost it at gunpoint. The owner of the keke called me for a meeting and asked me to pay him straight this keke money with his keke. <laughs> Else, it will make life unbearable for me. <laughs> Wait. I don't understand what you're saying. What did you just say? We have three days to provide his keke. I'm paying for his three days keke money else. We will see the other side of him. Ha! Mandy, Mandy, it is so good to see you. You know, when they told me someone had come to see me, I was wondering because I wasn't expecting uh, usually today uh, days that I set aside to rest my head, you know, and then uh, I behold you. you. You look good, by the way, it's been a while. Eh? That's a compliment. Come on, say thank you. You look so good. Uh, even though you, you know, you severed communication between you and I, you, you took our break, breakup uh, quite um, personal. You stopped talking to me. So I, I was never thinking that there would come a time you'll find it in you to ever want to re-establish communication with me. But you're here now. And let me also add that I know you. I know that um, you're on a mission. You won't come to me if you don't want something, Mandy. I know you. Uh, <laughs> what do you want? There's no doubt to know me too well, my king. Of course I know you. Uh, uh, let's get to it. Uh, what's the purpose of your visit? Old wine, they say test better, my king. Who told you so? Well, not in all cases. Because in my lifetime, I have met some great wine tappers. And they have blessed me with very beautiful flavors. One that I would cherish for the rest of my days. My king. Yes. The beautiful memories we created together have refused to leave me. Aha. <laughs> yeah, yes, I miss you so much. I knew that you were onto something. My king, you, you never told me you have a visitor upstairs. What visitor? I <laughs> see no visitor. I mean the lady standing on the staircase. There is no lady standing on the staircase, Mandy. <laughs> My king. Yes. I know what I'm saying. I saw, I saw a lady standing there. Mandy, please. There's no one at the staircase. Can we just get back to what we're talking about? Can you stop? I saw a lady standing there. I just saw a lady. Okay, slow down, slow down. I don't want this, you know, to be blown out of proportion. I know where this is going and I'm not ready for your tantrums, okay? So just calm Can you stop? I know. Don't, don't make me look stupid. I know what I saw. I saw a lady standing at the staircase. I don't see anyone at the staircase. Mandy. Well, I, I know what I saw. Mandy? Like I said earlier, today is my rest day. I have a lot on my mind. Is it possible that we can reschedule this meeting? Maybe when you're not paranoid? Please? Ikemba, just stop. I, I, 
Kimba. I'm surprised. I. You mean you didn't see the, the, the... What is all this? Will I have to beg for everything? You don't need to raise your voice. What is, Calm please? Down. There's nothing in the house. I am hungry. There's no money yet. I'll get, when I get to my make money, I'll give you money. Just Wait, this thing you are saying now, eh? you're not really making any sense to me right now. Give me money, let me go and buy food stuff so I can prepare for us to eat. I am hungry, Prepare don't you understand? This is public place. This is public place. Then if it is public, then give me money so I can carry no, my no, problem no. and go. Put your voice down. Which voice? Please now. Obi, give me money because... Okay, listen, I, I, uh -uh, what is all this? No customer since morning now. When customer comes, I will make money and I'll give money to you. Wait, also, because there is no customer. I have to wait for customer. What if customer does not come? Have customer. If I have make half of it, I am I'll... hungry. Bring don't you understand voice, don't that English? Bring that with voice. Hey. Hey, hey, okay. Tony! What is that? Beg, 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 hold your greeting. There's nothing good about this money. Where yeah. is my tire? I gave you my tire to repair since last week. You spoiled it instead of repairing my tire. I need my tire on my money now. Me and you don't talk this thing before now. No, we don't talk about this thing now. Money no day now. It's money day. Now me go by myself, call you. May you come collect money for your, your tire here. Yeah? That one way they talk. You no know, consign me at all. I need my money or my tire. Guy, guy, now guy, you be man like man, eh? My wife they here, now you guys go the para for me for my wife present, eh? What you consign me consign your wife? I need this a man. Okay, wait it now, wait it now. I don't. I, 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 I don't need my money or my tire now. I don't gently talk to you now. You won't go harass me for, for harass me for, 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 for my wife present, eh? I like this. Make me look with it, wait it, eh? I never respect you. You don't raise your voice. I never respect you enough. Okay, eh? I never respect you. You don't raise your voice for me. Why don't I need my mom? Why go to from my wife present? I said I need my mom. My wife there. You don't talk to me anyhow. What in? Don't be, don't be, don't be tired. I keep pressing. Huh? You should leave the gold, yo. I don't even have the time. By the time I come back here, you will see the worst. Okay, man, you want By the time I come back here, okay, you, do you will see the worst. Ah, what for? What for? Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, you want to? Obina, you should be ashamed of yourself. The cow. You should be ashamed of yourself, Obina. Obina, do not let me regret this. Don't now. let me regret it, please. Why would I, I suffer so you. in your hand and suffer so in the hand of a customer again? Shame on you. Eh? Shame on you, hey. Obina. Come, come, come Shame back. Shame on you. Come back, come. Did you people hear what the king said when we visited the palace? Yes. I heard him loud and clear. It seems the ghost of his late wife now visits and disturbs him. <laughs> that king. That king is responsible for his late wife's death. I assure you. Instead of concluding on a matter we know nothing about, is it not better we make our findings? Okaka, there's nothing like concluding. Eh? It, is, it is an assurance. Yes. It's a, it's a known thing. But since he said we should go and do our findings, we will do that to, to fulfill all Russia's needs. Sure. We will find this. Okay. How do we go about it? What sort of stupid question is that? Are you saying I'm stupid? That Your is question right. is stupid. Your question is a very stupid one. Mark, what is hey, that How is all right. else do we do find this in this kingdom? We, see, we don't need to quarrel over that. It's very simple. Hmm? We will visit the gods to carry out our findings. And um, if the chief priest mentions some items for the consultation, who will fund it? You don't have to panic over that. Uh -huh. yeah. Funding is no problem. All Everything right. is under control. Who's on though? Hmm? <laughs> okay. It's well. I trust you. <laughs> <laughs> Funding is no problem. It's not a problem. Funding is not the problem. At all, at all, at all. What's the again? Wicked man! You evil man that claimed to be the king of this kingdom. This is the end of the road for you. still have the courage to call me a noisemaker. <laughs> now I will show you what real noisemaking is all about. By Abracadabra. If the bullet from my gun cannot kill you, then I have a better option. I will cut you into pieces like a goat you are. Ay, ay. What is this? 
this. Uchenna. My brother-in-law. Bana. Why would my brother-in-law Excuse me of killing his sister. My wife. What is going on? And why do I keep having my wife's ghost appearing to me? Oh. I have to see Ikenga. I need to speak to Ikenga. Too many things going on all at once. My in-law accusing me of killing my wife. My late wife's ghost is constantly appearing to me. And the Miriam is still missing. Miriam. I have been looking for you. I can't find you. Miriam, your number has been switched off for days now. I just hope that you're fine. Because I have a lot troubling me at this time and... <sighs> not being able to reach you should not be one of my many troubles. Miriama. Where are you? What is chasing you? Mama, nah, I have a news that's not, that's, that's not pleasant to the ear. News? Eh, eh, you better return to wherever you're coming from with such news. I don't want to hear anybody you say. Let's hear him out first. Ah, Mama, what will the news have to do with your little do? Mary. Mary, my daughter. Yes. What happened to her? The police had said her and the husband two days ago. Huh? What? Who told you that? Mama, it's my elder brother who is a police officer working at the police headquarters. Called me some minutes ago. He said that the man who ordered for the arrest wants to take a case to Abuja. Chimo. Jesus Christ. My own daughter and her husband in police net. What did they do? Nay. My dad brother did not give me the full details though. But well, he said the case has to do with a stolen keke. Eh? Yes. Stolen keke? Stolen keke. Nah. Look what I could have We have to go. Alright, thank you for the information. Let me change into something better. Please, oh, please, oh, fast forward, please, oh, please. Hey. that Uche Naya actually shot at me in my dream. Chukwadu? He took a shot at me in my dream. No, I'm <laughs> not No, this is a bad dream. Of course, I don't need anyone so to tell me that it's a bad dream and that's why I have summoned you here. What? This boy called Uche Naya or whatever. What what is what is what is he up to this time around? I don't know. But something tells me that he's up to something dangerous. Something dangerous? Yes. One more thing, Ichi. 
Ogbo Zondo came here with one of the cabinet members and he told me that he heard from a reliable source that I, among Ikemba, <laughs> he did what? Uh, he said that he heard that I have a hand in the death of my wife. <laughs> it shows on you. Said this to you. He looked me in the eye when he said it. No. This is very serious. This is very serious. Of course I know. And that is why I have invited you here. For your wise counsel, what do we do? Hmm. <laughs> Whoever cannot be truthful to himself will always be forced to another. Mm. I want you to check yourself. Tell yourself the truth of the whole thing. Did you kill the queen? Or have a hand in her death? How come that you people didn't call to inform us when this thing happened? <sighs> Papa, everything happened so fast. They don't even allow us to even make a single call. But why would they take my stepdaughter along with you? That's my question. Is she the one that stole the cake? Thank you, Mama. This question you asked now is exactly the same question I asked. How is it my business? Mama, you needed to see the way they treated us. They humiliated us. Ha! Huh? It's all right, my daughter. Thank God that you are both free now. Eh? By the way, who is that lady that bailed you people? Her name is Stella. Stella? Yes, Papa. She's a good Samaritan God sent to bail us. Yeah. She didn't just bail us alone. She probably paid for the keke. Mm? Mm. She must be an angel. Yes. God bless her. Anyway, I'm glad that you are both back and free from that evil chief. That's the most important thing. Freedom. We we'll give God all the glory. Mm. Yeah. Why didn't you tell me you were dealing with all of this? One phone call would have solved the problem. You don't need to say much for I know what you're capable of. The truth is that they did not allow us to make any phone call. I'm sorry. Okay. It's quite unfortunate you had to go through all of that all by yourself. But I assure you that I'll always be there for you. Going forward. Okay? Prove to me that I am the only one for you this day. I give you my body. My soul, my all, take me. And do it to me as it pleases you. Are you sure you want this? Yes. Make me feel that sweet and wonderful sensation that comes to a woman when you romance her while you're in bed. My king. Yes. Make me feel like a complete woman. Are you sure you want this? 
Yeah. Hmm? I want all of it. Stella, why did you get yourself involved in their case? Why? And what sort of useless question is that? Stella, you didn't just bail him. You equally paid for the gate. He could not with some boys to steal. Why will you do that? For your own good, I would advise you never to refer to Obi as a thief. For I am certain he will never steal. I don't know what that useless, poor, wretched fool is giving to you that is making you to be talking to me in this manner. Nothing. He gave me nothing. But I want you to know that Obina did not steal. And that is the truth. Of course, I know you're not interested in it. So why am I even bothering myself telling you? Stella, I am convinced that you are under a spell. But I will do everything possible to make sure that I free you from that team's spell. That is enough. Enough of your madness. Let this be the very first and last time you will bring your busybody into my apartment to spill this rubbish. Would you rather leave or I call the police on you? Bella, you are asking me out of your house. Get out. Get out! I had a very disturbing dream, Your Majesty. In my dream, I saw you making love to my wife. And you were so happy making love to her. You say you had a dream? Yes, Your Majesty. Years ago, Your Majesty, I was on my knees in this palace to beg you to allow me to marry the woman that I love so much. But today, your majesty, I am not here to beg you. I am here to ask you to delete anything, any stupid thing that you have in your brain concerning my wife. And to stop harboring any form of illicit affair you are having with her. If you've not started already, for the immortal and the spirit, they know that she is my wife. You come to my palace to rant. Young man, do you realize that you're standing before the white lion? Your Majesty. The king of Obodoku kingdom. Do not say, I did not want you. Where you are, you know, go. Don't fight your king. He's your king. Pull your temper. Don't fight your king. Don't fight your king. Why is one? Uchenna has been going about the kingdom telling everyone that cares to listen to him that our king killed his own wife. And how did he arrive at that conclusion? I don't know. I don't really know for Uchenna. And our king is so bothered. That is why he sent me to you. So you can consult the gods and advise us on how to handle it. 
Motorists are always known to overrun their chi. The question is why? Ono, I have heard what you said. I shall go to the shrine and seek the face of the gods. Because right now, I do not have the solution to the problem at hand. It's okay. But uh, please, when do I expect a feedback from you? Because it is a matter of urgency. When do I expect to hear from you, great king of our kingdom? As soon as the ghost speaks to me, I shall pass words across to you. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. Once again, you're welcome. Thank you. But I am not here to drink. Of course, you know it would be very difficult for me not to offer you anything on your first visit. So please make yourself comfortable and enjoy your drink. Thank you. But like I said, I, I didn't come here to drink. I, I'm here to thank you for rescuing us. You know, especially paying our chief for the keke that was stolen at gunpoint. Come on. You don't have to thank me. Uh, no, I, I have to thank you over and over again. You see, do you think it's everyone that will do what you did for me? God Almighty will continue to bless you. Amen. She will never lack. Amen. Anything you lay your hands upon will continue to prosper. Amen. Um, Obi, yeah. the prayers are quite good, but I did what I was supposed to do for you. Really? Yeah. I did what I was supposed to do for you as my man. Why? Why did you say so? Like I said before, I did what I was supposed to do for you as my man. Listen. If I do not love you, I wouldn't have done any of those things. And I will beg you to please allow us to rekindle whatever it was that died between us years ago. Why did you say so? Why are you making me to repeat myself? Are you ready to love me again or not? Uchiha. Hmm? What you have here is the sum of one million naira. Okay. I want you and other elders to share it. Because I want them to stand by me. And I can assure you, more will come from where this one came from. Ushena, you can count on us. Mm -hmm. We are solidly with you in this, okay? Not because of this money, but because we want justice to prevail at the end of the day. Thank you. Um, I'm very happy hearing this from you. You know, the evil one must not go unpunished. I want to see the king pay dearly for what he did to my late sister, the queen. My son, you have my words. Hmm? You have nothing to be afraid of. We are with you in this to the end. Thank you very much. At least I, I am happy you are you're saying this. I'm counting so much on you people. Oh. <laughs> You have nothing to be scared of. Thank you. You're welcome. the king today 
And who told you that I went to the palace to see the king? So you had the guts to go and insult the king in his own palace? Uh, no, 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 point of correction. I did not go there to insult him, rather I went there to warn him. I went there to warn him to stay clear from my wife. And who told you I have something to do with the king? Because I saw both of you in my dream. Hey, hey, hey. So because you saw me and the king in your stupid dream that is born out of your stupid imagination, that is why you went to insult him. A full-fleshed man. A real man like the king of our kingdom. What is wrong with you? Have you lost it? Hey? You're just so lucky that he did not send his guards to cut off your head. You are very lucky. Hey, 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 woman. Mind the way you talk to me. And what will you do? Do not push me to the wall. And if I push you, what will you do? Tell me, what will you do? Listen to me. Let this be the last time you go to that palace to insult that king. The next time you try it, you will have me to contend with. No sense. They are calling men to come out, you will come outside. My son, how did you know the king killed your little sister, his wife? My sister has appeared to me twice to tell me that the king betrayed the love they shared. She went ahead to tell me that she is very, very angry with the king. I of the gods, you know what it means for the queen of this great kingdom who died at that age and was given a befitting burial to be appearing to her closest relative with such a message. I understand exactly what you are talking about and I feel your pain. I want the king to pay dearly for what he did to my sister. I understand, but the tradition must be followed to the letter. So what do we do? Give me some time. Let me consult with the gods. Thereafter, I shall send words across to you. But let me warn you. Do not for any reason Take laws into your hands. 